The District of Columbia Republican Party is the D.C. affiliate of the United States Republican Party. It was founded on June 19, 1855 and is made up of registered Republican voters living in the Washington, D.C. elected to serve as the governing body of the party. The party chairman is Jose Cunningham and it is housed in the District of Columbia alongside the Republican Party National Headquarters. The party faces steep difficulties in getting its candidates elected, as Democrats hugely outnumber Republicans in Washington. No Republican has ever been elected mayor since D.C. Home Rule began in 1975. The D.C. Republicans have had no representation in the D.C. Council since Carol Schwartz left office in 2009. As of April 31, 2018, there are 29,136 registered voters affiliated with the Republican Party of the District of Columbia. That is 6.15% of all registered voters. Leadership and organization The District of Columbia Republican Party is chaired by Jose Cunningham. The D.C. Republican National Committeeman is Robert J. Cabell and the D.C. Republican National Committeewoman is Jill Homan. The party is currently conducting a search for a new executive director. Members of the D.C. GOP elect its chairman every two years. The Republican National Committeeman and Committeewoman are elected at the same time as the D.C. Republican presidential primary every four years, which is open to all Republican voters. The chairman appoints executive committee members with the approval of the D.C. GOP. Election to the D.C. GOP requires nomination by an existing D.C. GOP member and confirmation by the D.C. GOP Membership Recruitment Committee. Electoral <inaudible> strategy <inaudible> 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 According to the District of Columbia Home Rule Act DC Code 1 to 221 D2 At no time shall there be more than 3 members including the chairman serving at large on the council who are affiliated with the same political party This gives the DC Republicans their largest opportunity and their main efforts are usually directed at this race Rather than defeat the Democrats, a Republican candidate for an at-large seat need only defeat any independents, libertarians, and D.C. statehood Green Party candidates in the race. Recent history The most successful and high-profile Republican in elected office of recent years is former Councilwoman Carol Schwartz at large. First elected in 1984, she served one term before deciding not to seek re-election in 1988. Voters returned her to the at-large seat in 1996. She was re-elected in 2000 and 2004, but lost the Republican primary election in 2008. Schwartz ran for mayor of the District of Columbia as a Republican four times 1986, 1994, 1998 and 2002, all unsuccessfully. In 2008, Patrick Mara defeated Schwartz for the Republican nomination. Mara was backed by an endorsement from The Washington Post and anger from the business community at Schwartz's support of a mandatory sick leave bill. Schwartz continued to run as a write-in candidate, and both received approximately 10% of the vote. This was not enough to stop Democrat-turned-independent Michael A. Brown from collecting the largest vote share of the non-Democrats up for election, leaving the council with no Republican members since 2009. Allegations raised by Tim Day, former Ward 5 D.C. Council candidate, and Paul Craney, former executive director, helped initiate an investigation into council member Harry Thomas, who defeated Day in a 2010 race. Thomas resigned in January 2012. Thomas agreed to two federal felony charges and was sentenced to 38 months in prison. In recent years, Chairman Cunningham has asked the United States House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, chaired by Trey Gowdy, to investigate the district for its violation of the District of Columbia Home Rule Act, which reserves two seats on the D.C. Council for the minority party. As of June 2018, all sitting members are Democrats with the exception of one left leaning independent. <laughs> 